Rockets, T-Wolves. Can the bearded one and the crew go up 3-1? Or is the big cat and crew going to tie the series at 2-2? Houston Rockets 6-1 so far against the T-Wolves all season, including the playoffs and early on trouble for the Young Wolves as Carl Anthony Towns has called for a second foul. He would have to sit three minutes in the game. So about these Rockets? Playing good, but uh, this is more bad news for the Timberwolves. Teague reaches in, would have a jammed finger, trying to get that thing back into place. He would return to the game. So what would happen? James Harden. Point blank, no. You know, he's been playing at MVP form all season long, but just couldn't get it going in the first quarter. 0 for 7. That's not good. Moving on to the second quarter. Carl Anthony Towns back in the game and feeling right. Running the two-man game. Teague to Towns. Nice. Mouse in the house. Gordon, you're too small. Get big. Towns and one. Oh, yeah, he's feeling good. Minnesota up. But then... The bearded one starts cooking. Finds his MVP form, steps back, knocks down the three. We're gonna whip it in the kitchen like a stir fry. Pose on. Houston up. And then Harden again, can't make everything. Like I said, he's been playing at MVP form. Here's a former MVP, Derrick Rose, to the rack. Gets that one, ties a score at 46 apiece. Houston up by one at halftime. But this third quarter, you're about to witness NBA history. Number one, James Harden is cooking. We all know that. Putting on a show. But the Houston Rockets, the second highest scoring quarter in NBA playoff history with 50 points. And Harden doing it all. 22 points in the quarter. Feeling good. Woo! Oh, yeah. I like that. What about the teammates? CP3 wears three, knocks down the three. 